I come from the hood. I come from Strawberry Mansion. Murders, robberies, everybody pulling you down, trying to keep you in. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And I really believe that. To come out of North Philly, live in a house of 20 people, you have two choices. Live in the street or get out of the street. The street can become your family. Or you can make a better life for yourself. My motivation was my mother. Her nickname is Mimi. I told her, I was like, Mom, I'm telling you, just get ready, just figure out where you want to move. But I wanted to get my mom out the hood. I knew I couldn't do that in the streets. She had a smile kind of like mine, the kind of room. I was her youngest boy, so she babied me a lot. Out of all of my brothers, I was the only one who like pursued college, I and mean, she loved that about me. His mother had that intuition that this was the right place for her son, that we would really watch over him, take care of him, be an extension of her. Once Coach promised I was gonna get my degree and that I was gonna play basketball in this big stage, um, it was all she wrote. <laughs> she basically signed me herself. <laughs> my mom never seen me play at Penn State. She lost a battle to cancer, the short battle. Brutal, just brutal. You hear him crying on the phone and you just, man, you don't know what to do. My world crashed down. I couldn't think about nothing. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Um, I was just sick inside. The reason why I was living the way I was living is because of her. She was my reason. And so when I lost my reason, it was like, what am I doing this for? Day at my mom's funeral, I was sitting there with my head down, and I just looked up, and in comes my whole team, the whole staff. Instead of practicing, they bust down to Philly to be there for me on the day of my mom's funeral. And to see them walk in um, the way they did, I mean, it just, it just, it made me feel special. I was a part of something bigger than just basketball, that this was actually gonna be my family. We all needed to show our support and our love for him. And he needed to see that he's not gonna be alone. He's not an orphan. No kid should have to go through what he's gone through. And a lot of the kids that do go through what he's gone through don't handle it like he did. The way he's handled it has inspired so many kids. I had two choices. I could either die with her or I could live for her. So I just chose to live for her. These pictures over here, it's a picture of me and my mother. Um, this is her obituary. I got her pictures uh, next to my bed and I just talked to her. Um, and I, I seen her a few times in my dreams and, and, and that motivated me a lot. Whenever I was missing her a lot, just somehow, some way, she'd find a way to just give me a sign that she's still with me. That's what kept me going. We worked so hard and put in so many hours and sacrificed so much. And nobody wants this program to be more successful than me and him. We went from normal coach player to, to father son. We've had many tearful exchanges in my office after close losses. It's not a pride thing, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta cry, let it all out. You just understand that once you cry, once it's out, it's out. And then you gotta bounce back the next day. Go, Ross. It has been a tough, Jeez. tough four years. Hey! There I go. But this team is special because we keep coming back and we, we keep grinding. That was half instilled by Coach Chambers and, and half DJ. I know it seems bad, but it's not that bad. It's not when you got a kid like that who's, who's gonna fight for you and you know he's gonna fight for you. And when you go to battle every night with a kid like that, you're gonna be in every game. And we have been because of DJ Newbill. 
He's opened doors for me that were never open for any other coaches. And we have filler recruits coming in every year now. When I got here, it's kind of just to myself, oh, I'm from North Philly, you know, I got my friends, I don't need no more. I got my family, I don't want no more. My whole mindset changed. Just becoming somebody who's really a part of the history of this school. The senior day thing, it hit me at. Probably when the ceremony go on, then it'll probably hit me, but right now I'm just kind of regular. No matter what, no matter how the fight looks, how the fight going, I'm gonna keep fighting, lying hearted. I just can't believe this is almost over for me. And I think the most most thing is that my mom never seen me play at Penn State. Um, yeah, um, my mom never seen me play at Penn State, and I knew how how, how crazy she'd have been in the crowd at all the games and <laughs> just screaming and how, how much it meant to her just to walk out on the court with me and be honored with my jersey. Um, it'll probably been a dream come true just to see our baby boy on um, what I've become and, and, just, and just to be respected by so many and being loved by so many. We work so hard and put in so many hours and sacrifice so much and nobody wants this program to be more successful than him. We went from normal coach player to, to father son. We've had many tearful exchanges in my office after close losses. It's not a pride thing, you know what? Just sometimes you just gotta cry, let it all out. You just understand that once you cry, once it's out, it's out. And then you gotta bounce back the next day. Go, Ross. It has been a tough, Jeez. tough four years. Hey! There I go. But this team is special because we keep coming back and we keep grinding. That was half instilled by Coach Chambers and, and half DJ. I know it seems bad, but it's not that bad. It's not when you got a kid like that who's, who's going to fight for you and you know he's going to fight for you. And when you go to battle every night with a kid like that, you're going to be in every game. And we have been because of DJ Newbill. He's opened doors for me that were never open for any other coaches. And we have filler recruits coming in every year now. When I got here, it's kind of just to myself, oh, I'm from North Philly, you know, I got my friends, I don't need no more. I got my family, I don't want no more. My whole mindset changed just becoming somebody who's really a part of the history of this school. The senior day thing, it hit me yet. Yeah, probably when the ceremony go on, then it'll probably hit me, but right now I'm just kind of regular. No matter what, no matter how the fight looks, how the fight going, I'm going to keep fighting, lying hearted. I, I just can't believe this is almost over for me. And I think the most, most thing is that my mom never seen me play at Penn State. Um, Yeah, um, my mom never seen me play at Penn State, and I knew how, how, how crazy she'd have been in the crowd at all the games, and <laughs> just screaming, and how, how much it meant to her just to walk out on the court with me and be honored with my jersey. Um, it'd have probably been a dream come true just to see our baby boy, um, what I've become, and, and, just, and just to be respected by so many, and being loved by so many. Senior night here at the Bryce Jordan Center. DJ Newville, six points away from 2,000. Number two, DJ Newville! Newville top of the key. Back door, trying to slam dunk off the bounce pass from DJ Newville. Russell over the shoulder, knocked away by Newville on a steal. Newville down the floor, Russell the beat, lays it up and in. Penn State, retake. 
Ohio State right now in sync, Penn State not. Straight on three, Russell good. Back to back threes, he's got 20 just like that, Dick. This is your last game on this floor. I don't want to see bad body language. I don't want to see any of that. Finish this game in Penn State style as hard as you can. He's going to take Newbill out. This will be his bow right here. DJ Newbill leaves as the fourth leading scorer in Penn State history. Two thousand point score. It's pretty amazing what that kid has accomplished, and every defense is geared toward him. I wish we could win more games for him because I think he's deserved it.